Good evening, brothers and sisters. Marami tayo, di ba? Opo. Na... Papataposin ko na lang po yung music. Tapos, pakapagod na po tayo. Marami pa naman sila habang hinihintay natin. Marami no. Alam ko parang marami sila eh. Kaya nga po eh. Sige po, sige po. Sige
Evening, brothers and sisters. Siguro one song muna tayo. Good evening once again, brothers and sisters. So, um, requesting everyone to please open their cameras so that we can formally start already. Hello, brothers and sisters. Hello, Paul. 
Hello po. Thank you, bro. Thank you, brothers and sisters. So to, um, to start our um, session for tonight, let's all sing the Chinook Anthem. everybody to please join me in the opening prayer. Good evening to our most loving Heavenly Parent and Victor Rashi Parents of Heaven and Earth and Humankind. Loving Heavenly Parent and Rashi Parents, as we are now about to start our session for today, we would like to first express our love and gratitude, our loving heart and our gratitude to you, Heavenly Parent, for um, giving us this wonderful day, Heavenly Parent. We are grateful for the gift of life that we have received for all the tremendous blessings that we've been continuously um, receiving from you as well, Heavenly Parents. Thank you so much as well for this opportunity that you have given to all of us, Heavenly Parents, allowing us to gather and be here to share our hearts, Heavenly Parents, and to learn more and maybe um, the principal Heavenly Parents. We sincerely pray, Heavenly Parent, that to all the participants and the lecturers, may we can be able to really um, uh, uh, be aligned and send you on your Heavenly Parent. And for all the lecturers, may we really use them as an instrument to um, deliver um, your messages to our participants, Heavenly Parent. And as for our participants, Heavenly Parent, we would like to sincerely pray that we could be able to um, really open up our hearts and minds and uh, gladly accept all the learnings that we will be having for today. Have. Thank you very much once again, Heavenly Parent, for this opportunity that you have given to all of us, Heavenly Parent, and we're very grateful for everything that we have had. Um, I'm like to sincerely ask and pray that all these things be in behalf of my brothers and sisters and your parents' name and my name, Kristen Delia Baradala, Sylvia Lady, Lydia Barabas, and family and Joe. 
Maju. Good evening. Good evening once again, brothers and sisters. Hi everyone. Come and stop with time we had. Oh my god, and we're not in. Oh, hi everyone. So yeah, since we're not with you, and since we're open to all the camera, uh, let me take this opportunity to um take a picture to all the from uh, sa lahat sa ting lahat. So, Ate Judy, okay ka lang po ba? Nap-off ka ng kama. So, let's have our picture taking. Um, Ate Judy, nandyan po ba kayo? Hello? <clears throat> si Vince po yan. Ay, si, si Vince. Sorry po. <laughs> okay. Um, sige, sige. Um, uh, give your best Smiles, brothers and sisters. Your face is your responsibility. Anna, do set smile. Okay, another one. Um, hearts. Sarang eh. Small hearts, brothers and sisters. Small hearts. One, two, three. Smile. Okay, sebaragi siya na. Oh, one, two, three. Sebaragi. One, two, three, smiles. And then last, um, vision 2027. So me, so me, so me. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters. I mean, last, 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 because my, my, my humabon, nakahabo si Kuya Jingoy. Um, so yeah, let, one, one formal picture for, from all of us. So your face is your responsibility. So smile, brothers and sisters. Smile. Okay, thank you so much. Um, so <clears throat> before we proceed the lectures, uh, as usual, we will be having a short recap and then sharing of the insights that we will be having. Uh, insights sa uh, magiging lecture natin ngayon. So, sino may volunteering spirit, brothers and sisters? So, let's start with, ano, yun, reviewing the, ano, reviewing the last the topic that we had. Hindi naman nakalimutan, di ba? I think, naka, I doubt na nakalimutan yun na, brothers and sisters. So, yes, sige. Oh, my God. Sino po yung gusto mag, ano, mag, bigay ng short recap about last topic. And yung insight nyo na rin about sa magiging next lecture natin for tonight. Patuna natin yun sa camera. <laughs> lahat, ng, lahat hindi dumitin yun sa camera eh. Um, ayun, may, may dumitin yun sa camera. Um, let's all welcome our very own Kuya Patrick. Five, six, seven, eight. Welcome. Kana Archangel Lucifer for the motivation for God. Kana inducing for to of Adam and Eve. Kuya, what do you think will be our topic for tonight? Insights. Sa magiging lecture natin. So, yeah, I'm like studying them again. So, our topic for today is uh, Catholicism and human history. I think. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Hindi pa hindi pa tayo pupunta sa ano human sa eschatology. Pero susunod, susunod yan. Okay, another one from our brothers and sisters. Um, let's go to the sisters. Kasi nung last time na na coordinate din kami ni Ate Rodina. Hindi ko to na rin ng sila Ate. Kaya um, let's all welcome Ate Juno Meng. Five, six, seven, eight. Hi, good evening po. Um, 
last lecture was all about the human ay, human fall human fall so um di ko po yun makalimutan is about the um love about love that unprincipled love begun why human fall really elicit sexual relationship so yun lang po. yun lang po overall ng lecture last meeting Thank you po. Uh, at ano yun, no? uh, how about you? What do you think would be our lecture for today? Ayan. Same din po kay, <laughs> kay Brother Patrick. Yun din po yung parang I'm looking forward. So, excited na sila sa ano, eskatology. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much, brothers and sisters. Um, per um, today, ang magiging lecture natin for tonight will be um, the rest of the sections sa ng chapter 2, which is the consequences of the human fall. We will also be talking about freedom and the human fall. And then lastly, the reason why God did not intervene in the fall. So that will be the lecture that we will be having for tonight. So para masimulan na natin, let's all welcome our first lecturer for tonight, our very own um, powerful uh, no, Ate, Ate Rezina. Thank you. Five, six, seven, eight. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome po. Ate, nakamit ka po. Good evening, participants. Let's uh, of the 21 day online debating principle uh, lecture series. Let me share my screen first. Uh, as what Miss Bell have uh, told you, we will be uh, no, sharing or discussing and we are the second part of the of chapter two, which is the, uh, the fall of human uh, of humanity. And that is the sections four, five and six, which is the Section four is the consequences of the fall. Section five is freedom and the human fall. And section six is about uh, why did you know, why did God did not intervene with the fall? So we have learned from the first part of the chapter two about how the how God purpose of creation was uh, destroyed and that uh, we have learned what is uh, truly the mistake of Adam and Eve uh, unlike our uh, the common belief that it was just a plain disobedience of humanity and this uh, have caused uh, the fall of humanity and that after, because of this uh, plain disobedience, this simple disobedience of uh, the word of God, all humanity have uh, suffered, have uh, fallen, uh, have suffered and that uh, until now, we are um, experiencing the, the result of the fall. And the mistake was uh, uh, handed down or passed down from, uh, uh, from generations to generation until this time. But uh, we have learned that... Uh, huh? 
the root of sin, which is the uh, unprincipled or the it, which is illicit sexual relationship with the angel and humanity, particularly uh, starting with Eve, and then it is uh, multi and Eve multiplied it with uh, Adam, so that uh, that is the, the and they committed the fall, the spiritual, and then the fall, the physical fall. And then we have also learned about uh, the uh, the pop. We have also learned that uh, the power of love is greater than the power of the principle. Oh. And now, because uh, fallen, because uh, the original plan or the blueprint of God, the ideal of creation was destroyed, and we would now uh, study what are the consequences of this mistake by our uh, first human ancestors. So as you have learned, as uh, we can see, we read that Satan is the name given to the archangel Lucifer after he fell. When the first human ancestor fell, they bound themselves in blood ties with Lucifer. They form a four-position foundation yoke to Satan and thus all humanity became the children of Satan. So, we know that we know that Satan the uh, is uh, no, uh, the name Satan was only given to well, have changed to uh, from the Lucifer the name Lucifer is uh, have changed into Satan after uh, the archangel fell or fall away from the love of God or after he uh, no uh, noong nagrebelde nagrebelde, tamo ba yung term? nagrebelde si Lucifer okay so supposedly Lucifer has a very beautiful meaning, di ba? Ano, sino nakakalam ng meaning ng Lucifer? Morning glory. <laughs> uh, Lucy means light, diba? Giver of light or uh, to educate. When we say Lucy, if you give light, you are educating. That's the, and that is this, uh, this is the reason why uh, Lucifer is the one who is taking care of, or he is the one assisting Adam and Eve to their uh, growing period or through their perfection. But then he took advantage of the of the situation and deceived Adam and Eve, and thus they all uh, committed the fall, uh, the spiritual and the physical fall. So what happened? So the first consequence of the fall is that Satan came into existence and that uh, instead uh, and that humanity become fallen. So that is the first consequence of the fall. So in the ideal of God, in the ideal of creation, there is there are no fallen humanity only, goodness and that satan was originally created as a good angel somebody but then he made himself uh, 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 and, but then he rebelled against god and that made him satan so to continue what does the uh the uh, father 
the bearer of the divine principle said about the consequences of the fall. Human beings came under two masters after through the fall. If they had one master, it would be easy to turn them back. But since they have two masters, it became difficult for them to return. All things are designed to fit automatically without, in, uh, without conflict into God, the true subject partner. But here there are two pluses for one minus. And there appeared a plus opposing God. So, after the fall, there has become two masters. Just, uh, originally, uh, the one, uh, originally, humanity should be governed by God in goodness. But because uh, of the fall, uh, as we have learned in chapter one, and also during the no, during the introduction, uh, they had big ano, humanity had to uh, uh, had two masters, one, and we know that God is the the ano, the is a plus right, and then there has come another plus, which is plus or plus or young, di ba? Young. The young part. And then, and most of the time, we, humanity, uh, humanity follows the second young, not the true subject partner. To continue, as our father said about the consequences of the fall, Satan moves in ex on external strength and God in on internal strength. The result is that two subject partners relate to one object partner. Ito sinasabi ka ni, subject partners are two, minor, uh, two pluses or two young and then one Minus, which is the object partner. Satan is the external object partner and God the internal object partner. Since they are all plus, this will inevitably lead to a mutual repulsion. This can be thought as a fight between physical mind and conscience in human beings. That's the reason why during introduction we have learned about you contradicting uh, mind of the uh, of humanity. That's the reason why they ano, they 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 report re, ano, they are uh, there is repulsion. So this is the reason why Jesus said to the people, "You are your, you are of your father, the devil." And we can read that in the Bible, in the book of John, chapter eight, verse forty-four, and call them a brood of vipers. We can read that in Matthew, chapter twelve, verse thirty-four, and chapter twenty-three, verse thirty-three, and the Bible call Satan the ruler of this world as we read in the Bible uh, in the book of John uh, chapter 12 verse 31 and the God of this world in 2 Corinthians for, uh, chapter 4 verse 4. So instead of us becoming uh, becoming the original ideal of God is for us to become his children and uh, inheriting the natures of goodness from God. But then, uh, since uh, we entered through the fall, we, uh, humanity entered into blood kingship with Satan and that we make uh, Satan becomes our 
uh, the the father of humanity and thus we became humanity became children of satan that's the reason why uh it is said in the bible uh, the bible said uh, this is the explanation why the bible said all of these things satan is the ruler of this world and the father uh, our father is the devil and we are brood of vipers. Mga anak tayo ng, sabi nga brood of vipers, anak tayo ng ulupong, parang ganun, yung ahas. And in, Jesus Christ is referring to the ancient serpent who tempted uh, Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. So once Satan came to dominate human beings who were intended to be the lords of creation, he also achieved dominion over everything in the universe. So once uh, Satan, we know very well that after human beings grow into perfection and they have completed the three great blessings or the, the purpose of creation, uh, we, uh, humanity, become the lords of the creation. But... Uh, since Satan deceived humanity, he become the uh, he dominated the universe, the humanity, including all the creation. According as we have learned in chapter one, the principle of creation. Accordingly, it is written in Romans uh, chapter eight, verse nineteen: the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God. So. All the creation is revealing for uh, waiting for the re uh, revealing the sons of God because until now the the humanity has not been doing its mission to take care of the environment of or all the natural environment. So we have not have proper dominion, yung uh, perfection uh, of dominion over all the natural uh, universe or the natural creation other than human beings. So another consequences of the fall since there is an emergence of Satan and you, you fallen humanity instead of being becoming a children of God and Satan as a good ano, as a good archangel. So there has been activities in uh, Satan's activities in human society. And how does the, uh, how can this happen? Uh, Satan cannot perpetuate his evil activity unless he finds an object partner with whom he can form a common base and engage in a give and take action. Actually, as I read this, Satan cannot perpetuate. I think this is a no. This is a very. Uh, it's a good thing that Satan. It's a good news for us that Satan cannot perpetuate his evil activity unless he finds an object partner. So this is a solution. So that we must be very. You know, we must be very uh, careful not to become Satan's uh, object partner, so that he cannot perpetuate his evil activity in the human society. Satan object partners are evil spirit in the spirit world. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? How come na, di ba, si Satan lang or si Lucifer lang yung nagkasala, di ba? Si Lucifer lang yung nagkasala kay God. Pero how come there are evil spirits? Saan galing itong mga evil spirit na to? So remember when Satan ano, was uh, thrown down from heaven to earth, he was thrown down together with his angels. Diba sabi dun sa Bible? Ano ibig sabihin nun? Uh, there are, since Lucifer is the leader of angels, he is an archangel, diba? And among the three major archangels, uh, siya yung pinaka-leader ng tatlong, tatlong, ano, tatlong archangels. So, there are angels below him. 
that following him. So this evil spirit, these are the angels that sympathize with Satan, with Lucifer, when he was uh, thrown from heaven to to ano to the earth. So ang ibig sabihin, uh, in, we must be careful also when we when we sympathize with other humanity uh, with other people we must be careful to whom we they are, we are sympathizing with it is it, are we sympathizing for god or, or are we sympathizing for satan this must be a lesson uh, from from this that's the reason why i am trying to emphasize this evil spirit are sympathizers to the to Archangel Lucifer yeah, when he was thrown down on the earth. The object partners to this evil spirit are the spirit selves of evil people on the earth. So evil people on the earth. Sa kanila siya, yung mga evil people nakikipag uh, common page yung mga evil spirit. Kasi syempre dahil mga lesser lesser ano sila uh, spirit sila dan 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 satan taga sunod sila ni, ni Lucifer so siya yung mga uh, sila yung naghahanap ng mga evil spirit self ng evil people and the vehicles through which these evil spirit selves act are their physical self so when we humanity do uh, do evil uh, activity through their bodies and then they their evil self are being ano, are are being candidates of the evil spirit uh, to to as a common base so we must be careful of our activities that we must always do good so that we cannot be a candidate for a chosen candidate for evil spirit uh, as a subject partner of the evil spirit accordingly the power of satan is conveyed through evil spirit and is manifested in the activities of earthly people So, where did the evil plant his seed? He did it in the body. That's why our body is continuously uh, being attacked by, by Satan. Because he planted, the devil planted his seed in the body of humanity. And that's the reason why, uh, if we remember also, when God, uh, Jesus Christ came on this earth, it is his body that he attacked. And we also learn from chapter 1, section 6, diba? section 6, that uh, the, the root, in order for our spirit self to grow, we need our physical body. So, so if, if uh, in order for our spirit self to to grow satan must attack the, the our physical body so that our spirit self cannot grow for example satan entered into judas iscariot so uh the evil spirit uh uh have common base with the evil spirit of Judas Iscariot when he uh, thus he have uh, no, he have uh, sold Jesus Christ into 30 pieces of silver uh, you remember that in the uh, no, uh, and this is what the, uh, Judas Iscariot said I did and we can read that in the look in the book of Luke chapter 22 verse 3 and once called Peter Satan in Matthew 16 verse 23 we can recall that when uh, Jesus Christ uh, called uh, Peter Satan when uh, that was the time when 
uh, Jesus Christ already accepted his ano his uh, destiny for uh, to the cross and that uh, Peter is saying that uh, Jesus Christ is telling his disciples that he is going the way of the cross and Peter is saying that uh, no we will protect you nobody can touch you ganun over our dead body ganun na sabi ni Peter di ba pero sabi ni Jesus Christ go away from me satan so kasi bakit bakit sinabi niya na go away from me kasi kung hindi uh, dahil wala na kasi ano eh wala na kasi object wala na kasi makitang object partner si si Jesus Christ wala nang magi-stand as a uh, kasi nga, di ba, nag-fail na si John the Baptist. No, ma maaral natin later on, dun sa later ibang chapter. Pero dahil nag, ano na siya, natanggap na niya, kung hindi siya, he wouldn't go to suffer the way of the cross, there will be no uh, spiritual salvation kung hindi siya mamamat, uh, kung hindi siya magsasuffer sa way of the cross. So, a spiritual salvation is not possible. That's the reason why he said to Peter, he is Satan. So he is hampering the 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 alternative course of God to save humanity. That's that's the reason why. In the Bible, the spirit of evil earthly men are called angels of the devil. So be careful not to 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 have a common base with the uh, evil spirit so that we cannot cannot be called also angels of the devil. Uh, uh, having a common base with the evil spirit. So another consequence of the fall is the emergence of sin in the uh, uh, ideal world of creation ni God. Diba? In the ideal world of creation. Kasi in the world of ano, in the world, in the ideal world of creation, there's, there is, ano, there is no sin, there is no suffering. Diba? But after the fall, that's the time that sin have entered into the, in, uh, in uh, the human, in the world of humanity. So what is sin? Sin is a violation of heavenly law which is committed when a person forms a common base with Satan. Heavenly law, it is means it's against God. It's against God's desire. When you don't believe in the world, when uh, when when Adam and Eve did not uh, follow God's commandment not to eat the fruit, it's against, uh, it is violation of the heavenly law wherein uh, it's wherein they did not believe in God's word but instead they believe Satan's or the Lucifer's word. Thus setting a condition of give and take action with him. Sin can be classified into four categories. Original sin, hereditary sin, collective sin, and individual sin. What, uh, what does the uh, principles uh, say about original sin? First, the original sin originated with the spiritual and physical fall of the human ancestors. And it is ingrained in our lineage and is the root of all sins. Ito yung original sin is the uh, the effect of the spiritual and physical fall. And it is being passed down from generation to generation after or after and Eve. Or as descendants of uh, the first human ancestors, Adam and Eve. That's the reason why even though we are be, uh, even if we are being baptized as Christians and it is said that uh, baptism is is uh, to remove original sin but when we 
when we give birth, when we have our children, we also uh, have them baptized. So it is not true that the uh, baptism can remove original sin. And then second, hereditary sin is a sin which inherit from one's ancestors on account of their connection through lineage. Hereditary sin is, these are sins committed by our ancestor until our parents. And these sins that, this hereditary sin are the sins which are not being uh, paid by our or redeemed by our ancestors and uh, our parents. If they have not paid for this, so as descendant, we are to pay for this sin. Third, collective sin is a sin that a person is responsible for as a member of a group. For example, because some Jewish priests and scribes sent Jesus to the cross, the Jewish people as a whole have taken responsibility for this sin and received the punishment of God. So, what is the punishment of God? Uh, the Jewish people or the Jews uh, uh, has been the chosen people, right? Has been the chosen people, but because they have, you know, they have sent Jesus Christ to the cross. They have uh, lost their their position, and then they have suffered uh, in the Roman persecution, which is we will be uh, in the restoration process, which we will be uh, learning later on in the part two, and that until also also in during World War One, the Jews in Germany were. Were, uh, have also suffered under the tyranny, tyranny of, uh, of Hitler. Uh, this is one example uh, how, uh, how the, the Jewish people as member of uh, the, as a member of the group of Jewish paid for uh, how God, uh, how they they were punished indirectly by God because it's a natural uh, uh, process. It is and uh, God did not want that, but then they whatever we do, good or bad, we are going to to uh, no, uh, to earn from it, or we are to humanity have to harvest our uh, the fruits of our activities of, of our responsibility. Humanity as a whole has taken responsibility for the sin and walked the path of tribulation until the second coming of Christ. So this is in particular Christianity, I know. The Jews talaga. Fourth, individual sin is a sin of an individual commit uh, himself commits uh, himself commits to rid oneself of the original sin means to restore the lineage of the heart that is not invaded by Satan. So to get rid of the original sin, we must uh, this must be uh, this must be removed by the uh, the Messiah. So we must be able to find the Messiah so that. He can, uh, he can remove our original sin. Here, the restoration of lineage of heart means the restoration of the spiritual fall and also the restoration of the physical fall. So that's the reason why ito yung pinakamission ng Messiah. So in, how dito? About... About the original sin, as have uh, revealed to the Reverend Sang Myung Moon, original sin of the human ancestors is this. In violation of God's commandment, Adam and Eve committed adultery and made blood ties with the devil. 
becoming host parents, and inheriting false love and lineage to humankind. Therefore, human beings have no way of this sin and struggle ridden world unless they meet true parents and be reborn, thereby discovering the truth and method to remove the original sin and practicing it. This is uh, as a consequence of the fall. So, so we know we have already learned the consequences of the fall. Now we are now to learn or study the primary characteristic of the fallen nature. When we say fallen nature, these are the natures being inherit uh, the nature inherited from the Archangel Lucifer, who became Satan. As you can see in the diagram, the Archangel Lucifer, Eve, and Adam have disconnected. You, the relationship with God has been dis disconnected through the fall. Originally, these three, the Archangel, the Eve, and Adam, must be able to, to inherit God's original characteristic. But since their, their connection to God was, uh, was uh, cut, cut off because of the fall, how can they, how, there's no way for them now to inherit God's characteristic. So what was Oh, so where does the fallen nature comes from? So, uh, it is said, if inherited from the archangel, all the proclivities incidental to this, his transgression against God when he bound her in blood ties through her sexual relationship. And uh, Adam in turn acquired the same inclinations. These proclivities have become the root cause of the fallen inclination in all people. They are the primary characteristic of the fallen nature. So the fallen nature, the nature that we have developed, is the characteristic of the archangel who go against God. So let us now learn one by one. The primary characteristic of the fallen nature can be divided broadly in four types. So again, this fallen characteristic are coming originally from, from, from the archangel Lucifer who became Satan. And this is after the fall. Before the fall, wala tong nature, walang fallen nature. It is, I uh, know, it is, uh, it, uh, this fallen nature original originated with the uh, fallen archangel Lucifer. So, ano yung una? First characteristic is the failure to God to take God's standpoint. This is, and who, who, who first uh, failed to take God's standpoint, uh, God's standpoint? When Lucifer asks, why is it that uh, it is said that God, uh, Lucifer, did not love Adam and Eve just as uh, God loved them. That's the reason why he failed to take, uh, take God's standpoint. And the problem is that if uh, since Lucifer has been working with God uh, before, before, uh, uh, even before the creation of Adam and Eve. It has, it should have been easy for Lucifer to ask God for for clarification. But then, since, uh, but then, instead of asking God for clarification, he did not. I uh, know he did not. Uh, he did not. Uh, he did not uh, uh, ask God for clarification, 
and then he in in our ano in the in the ano in the millennial lingo nagbidobida si Lucifer hindi siya nagtanong kay God oh di ba nagbidobida siya so ito yung nangyari sa kanya so na naniwala siya masyado naging confident siya masyado sa katalinuhan niya because we know that Lucifer is the most uh, the 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 most intelligent among the three archangels. Second, because he believes he is very intelligent and so uh, and so he believes he is so uh, indomitable. <laughs> he has this indomitable spirit. Uh, the second characteristic is leaving one's proper position. So, ang position niya, uh, Lucifer's position is the leader of the angels, di ba? He is the top leader of the angels. But then, anong ginawa niya? He leave yung position niya na yun, and he wanted to, as we have learned in the first part of chapter 2, he have, ano, he have uh, leave that position and wanted to, no, he wanted also to become what? to become to become also leader of for the humanity so that's the reason why he he you know and this only this this fallen nature is uh, originated from the archangel lucifer who became satan and third characteristic is the reversal of dominion Anong tanong ni, ano, ako yung, ako yung unang create So, ako yung panganay. Bakit ngayon, kasama ko pa nga si, ano eh, kasama ko pa nga yung, uh, nung pinanganak yan, yung kinreate si Adam and Eve, ako, kasama pa nga ako eh. Now, bakit siya yung magiging Lord of the creation? Parang ganun na sabi niya. So, ganun yung tanong ni Lucifer. So, ang ginawa niya, hindi po pwede, mas marami akong experience. So, dapat ako yung, Ako yung ano, Lord of the creation. So, reverse niya yung position. Instead na siya yung maging Lord uh, of the, uh, ibig sabihin, object ni Adam and Eve as ano, one of the created beings ni God, reverse niya yung position. Siya ngayon yung naging ano, tatay nila, ginawa yung tatay sila, uh, tatay niya, and then naging ah, uh, uh, object partner niya si Adam and Eve through the fall. And fourth char characteristic is the multiplication of the criminal act. Paano ba na-multiply? So, nag-umpisa yung pag-aaklas kay God or rebelling against God uh, desire is has, ano, originated from Lucifer. And then, he, ano, ah, uh, and this and he multiplied this uh, mistake or criminal act through Eve and then Eve to Adam. That's the reason. And this the the rebelling against God is originate originated from the archangel and multiplied through Eve then to Adam. That's the and these are all the four fallen uh, nature that humanity have inherited from the fallen archangel. And to continue the lecture about section 5, the freedom of the, the freedom and the human fall and the, the reason God did not intervene in the fall if will be uh, Discussed by Miss Bell to to complete all the second part of the uh, chapter two. Now uh, let me call Miss Miss Bell for chap section six, uh, section five and six of the chapter two. Thank you so much, Ate Rina, for the lecture. Um, so yeah. I'll be giving the uh, next section. So.
okay pa naman lahat, ba? Diba? Brothers and sisters, okay pa ba naman? Okay pa po ba tayong lahat? Yes. Okay. So, yan. Um, uh, tonight, I'll be um, continuing the, the rest of the sections from chapter 2. Um, starting with the section 5, um, freedom and the human fall. So, um, this is something that Freedom is something that from for over the years have been continuously changing and then um, have been adapting to the environment. Yung definition yeah. When we ask people from outside um, what freedom is, I bet and um, I think what there is one common and you know, common definition of what freedom is, and that would be um, doing things in according to what we want without being reprimanded or without being um without anyone trying to restrain you but yeah so however um tonight we will be discussing um freedom in light of the principle so what is the meaning of freedom so from the viewpoint of the principle so what is the meaning of true freedom so in light of the principle Three characteristics of freedom stand out. First is that there is no freedom outside the principle. And it, this is also something that we should be um, aware of, brothers and sisters, that um, true freedom or perfect freedom has these two components, free will and free action. And, and the freedom is a result of the harmonious relationship between the free will and our free action. So freedom requires both free will and the free actions pursuant to that will. And then free will and free actions have the relationship of internal nature and external form and perfect freedom is achieved when they are in harmony. So, however, one that um, it should be understand, one thing that we have to understand here, brothers and sisters, is that free will is not just something that um, um, based on what we want. Yeah. And then and uh, yeah so we will be discussing it further so therefore there cannot be any free action without free will nor can free will be complete without free actions to accompany to accompany it the free actions are generated by free will and free will is an expression of mind so therefore the purest form of free will and then the truest form of free will is that it will be an expression of our original mind which is directed towards goodness, which is in line with God. So when when we say about when we talk about free will, free will is not something that will lead us to do something bad. Free will is something that will not um, put us in danger. So free will is um, in perfect resonance to God's word or the principle. So that is something that is different. From here brothers and sisters so free will is not just something that um, when we say free will it's not um completely based on what we think or what we feel within us or what we yeah what we think is right yeah so since the mind of an original sinless person cannot operate outside of god's word that is the principle it will never express free will or generate free action apart from the principle. So if it's not in line with the, um, the principle, um, you may ask, is, can there still be um, human will outside the principle? There is, there is um, um, human will outside the principle. However, that is not the true and the truest form of free will. So that is, similar to our original mind in um uh, our original mind and our evil mind so, yeah. undoubtedly the freedom of a true person never deviates from the principle so this is something that should be um highlighted once again brothers and sisters the freedom of a true person never deviates from the principle so when there is an action that is being done by um, a member, per se, of the movement. And then um, they try to reason out that they are doing it 
in accordance to their own freedom or for because they are um they have the freedom to do so um we have to be wa wary of the fact that freedom is always and um, the, the true freedom and perfect freedom is always aligned to the principle it is always always aligned it's not just sometimes or once a week na naka-align kay god but then it is always in whatever the whatever whatever we wanted to do uh in all the things that we wanted to do and in everything that we do um freedom is always aligned and i know centered on goodness so um then second um the second uh characteristic of true freedom is that there is no freedom without responsibility so human beings created according to the principle can reach perfection only by fulfilling their responsibility based on their free will since we have all um uh learned from the previous sections brothers and sisters that we have to undergo the growing period in order for us to reach perfection so and in that growing period we also have to fulfill our portion of responsibility and we have to live up with with the principle that yeah we have to live in accordance to the principle and fulfill our responsibility so in here brothers and sisters um since we have um greater power and it's being said in spider-man i think that great power comes with great responsibility it is the same thing with freedom so freedom um it is not freedom if it's if if you don't have any risk if you don't take responsibility on it so if you do something if you if is something that you did you have to be responsible for it especially when you um, are expressing <laughs> these things in um accordance to your own freedom so accordingly a person a person pursuing the purpose of creation as prompted by his free will ceaselessly strives to carry out his portion of responsibility so as we continue to strive to reach our perfection brothers and sisters we all i know human beings in inevitably fulfills the responsibility along the way also and then they also have um been expressing your freedom alongside with that one so yeah we have known diba, that freedom can never um never deviate the principle and then second it is not um there is no freedom without responsibility so that and the third one brothers and sisters is that there is no freedom without accomplishment so third um yun, when human beings ex exercise freedom and carry out their responsibility they strive to accomplish results which complete the purpose of creation and bring joy to god so free will ceaselessly pursue concrete results through free action so um when we um when we express our own freedom we just we don't just um express it with um outside the principle and we don't uh express our freedom without having our responsibility and we also don't express our freedom without accomplishment so when we um practice our freedom we always have uh, yeah, three things that we have to be um uh we have to uh, understand is that it will always be aligned with the principle and it it will always we always freedom comes along with responsibility and it comes along with accomplishment and that is when we fulfill our responsibility so, uh, and then we also fulfill, uh, express our freedom alongside with it we will surely accomplish something and then our ultimate um goal in here brothers and sisters the ultimate accomplishment that one person can have is to reach perfection and be completely one and resonate com resonate completely with god and that is the result and those results that we accomplish by um exercising our freedom and fulfilling our responsibility surely will bring us joy so when we do something out of our freedom and then we fulfill the risk responsibility alongside with it surely brothers and sisters it will not 
put you in a position in a position where you will feel bad or sad or anything because when we exercise our true freedom and then we fulfill our responsibility alongside with it surely we will all not not only us will be happy but god will also be happy for all of us so yun, to, uh, yes, uh, to summarize so the meaning of freedom from the viewpoint of the principle is that there is no freedom outside the principle there is no freedom without responsibility there is no freedom without accomplishment so it is um when we say about uh, when we talk about freedom it's not just something it it's no longer the th the things that we just that we all think um is right and we think is a uh, it's not only according to what we want and then freedom is not something um it's not just an expression of doing things without someone trying to hinder you or putting um a restraint over you because yeah that that definition of freedom is uh, that freedom is not true freedom Ayan. and then freedom yeah oh so yun, pa, but it's very um simple i hope you have grasped that brothers and sisters it's very short yung actually yung section five which all which only talks about freedom and the human fall so yeah and then uh, one thing that to conclude the this section is that freedom could not possibly have caused human beings to fall since there are a lot of uh, um arguments that would lead us and that would try to argue that um the reason why human beings fell is that because they were free to do whatever they wanted um indeed human uh, adam and eve in the garden had their uh had their free will however um um what happened in the garden was that they were they were not able to fulfill um and express completely um the truest sense of freedom what they did was that i they they misunderstood and missed i know they um they have they took advantage uh they have abused the free will that they they were that god have given them and were not and since they were still in the growing period and still immature they deviated from the principle and uh, did not fulfill the responsibility thus yung naging result was that they got disconnected from god so it is never um uh, the, the reason why human beings or uh, adam and eve fell was not because of the freedom that god has given them so it's it always goes back it always it will always boil down to their responsibility which they failed to fulfill so say so and freedom can do not possibly have caused human beings to fall in fact um freedom is one of the most precious gifts that humankind received from our creator so people were created as free spiritual beings however at the same time as he created people as free beings he gave them responsibility that is because freedom requires self-discipline and self-control so it's it's not a freedom cannot just be done recklessly and just uh yeah can be it's not freedom when you just do things uh recklessly without um without discipline and without control so when we practice or exercise our freedom it should always be um we should always be uh we should always ask ourselves if it's um if if it, if it will be done with control or with an uh, out of discipline second freedom does not exist outside the rules yun it's very clear brothers and sisters freedom does not exist outside the rules how whether we like it or not um freedom can never exist outside the rules and then the universe operates based on physical laws and spiritual laws ultimately these put a limit on freedom for example you can jump off the roof of a of 
of a hotel. You can have the freedom, you have the freedom to do so. The act of freedom will destroy you. That is because it opposes the laws of nature. So that is something, yeah. When you do some, if you, yeah, yeah. It is undeniable that you are, you, that you are free to do whatever you do, wh whatever you want. But it was always, always boil down if it is centered on goodness and then yeah and then if you're um ready to take responsibility they take yeah they take responsibility out of the actions that you will be doing so yeah but yeah but then you and yeah, brothers and sisters i would like to conclude this section with um with that, that with the say, um, with the idea and the thought that freedom is, um, freedom can never, freedom will ne will never put us in vain. Freedom, the true freedom, will always, um, when you're in, it will never lead us to something bad. Freedom will always point us and lead us to something good. So yeah, and yeah, so yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, brothers and sisters, I hope. You understand. And that makes yeah, but you and you yeah. So that is section five. And now I'm to continue um the rest of the yeah, the last section. We will be talking about one of the most controversial um question and then um yeah, question when talking about the 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 tagneta when talking about the human fall so uh well i was growing while i was growing and then while studying in because i studied in a catholic school and then we have there have been a lot of avenues and opportunities for us to raise questions and discuss about things and uh, you know, aside from discussing about freedom uh we have also discussed why uh why god was not um and it was it wasn't discussed in the classroom setting but then one of my friends or in classmates yeah one of my classmates have raised that you uh, know question why didn't god intervene in the fall he was powerful he created all things he knows everything that is happening all over the universe why did he did why didn't he intervene in the fall What's the reason behind it? Was it because he was not that powerful at all? Or was it because he has limitations as God, uh, as creator? So in this section, we will be talking about why God did not, the reason God did not intervene in the fall. So here. Mm -hmm. so, the meaning of uh, sin. So God being omniscient and omnipotent must have known about the divine acts of the first human ancestors which were leading to their fall and was surely capable of preventing them from carrying them out. Why then did God did not intervene to prevent the fall? This is one of the most important unsolved mysteries of the ages. We can put forward the following three reasons why God did not intervene interfere with the human fall. So we will be talking about three. Uh, yeah, we will be discussing um, three reasons why God did not intervene with the human fall. This is in accordance to, uh, in light with the principle. So the first one is to maintain the absoluteness and perfection of the principle of creation. So why did God? Um, why did the omniscient and omnipotent God did not intervene to prevent the fall? So in accordance to the, with the principle, God created human beings in his image with the character and powers of the creator, intending that they govern all things as he governs over humankind. The above we have discussed, we have also learned from the previous sections that we are made, human beings are made in the likeness of God. And then we have um while god were create was creating human beings he had given a portion of him a part of him so we are um little embodiments of god and then and because of that we are destined to become the co-creators of god and then we yeah 
However, for human beings to inherit the creative nature of God, they must grow to perfection by fulfilling their portion of responsibility. Hence, while people are still in this realm, God does not directly govern them. We have also learned that um, while be human beings are under the growing period, are still in the process of the growing period, they are under the indirect, indirect dominion, um, indirect, yeah, the realm of God. And thus, um, it, it, it is only when we reach perfection, when God can completely govern and have a direct dominion above all human beings. So, and then in, during the growing period that we have, we, um, and during, during this growing period, this process, we have to fulfill our responsibility and we have to live our lives in accordance to the principle that is um that has been the requirement for us to reach the perfection and for us to completely grow so and then the same thing with that one before we can completely um uh, become perfect individuals perfect person who had who have inherited the created nature of god we have to undergo this growing period thus the reason why God could not, um, what God did not intervene the fall is that He is allowing human beings to attain that perfect, uh, that possession where we could inherit the creative nature of God. And then, second, so if God were to interfere with human actions during their growing period, it would be tantamount to ignoring the human portion of responsibility. In that case, God would be disregarding his own principle of creation. So if he intervened at that point where human beings were um, falling already, so he would be disregarding his own um, principle that he has set. And since we have known that God is an absolute being, he cannot just um, disregard the principle just for just to intervene and save human beings. Because yeah, 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 we will always go back that um to the point that we human beings have um you kaka discuss that we ha they have free will and then we have they were they have their responsibility alongside with it. So although God was an absolute being, he cannot he could not just um disregard his uh, no, the principle that he have created. Um yeah, he could not, he could he could not just ignore the principle and intervene uh, intervene um however he wanted however yeah however he wanted so yun so if the principle were ignored then its absoluteness and perfection would be undermined so it would be questionable yung principle and not only the the principle itself but also god who is the ultimate creator above all things. So in order to preserve the absoluteness and perfection of the principle of creation, God did not intervene in the acts that led human beings to fall. So um, you question why God did not intervene, the, um, the, uh, why did why God did not intervene in the fall? What, was it because he was powerless or was it because he has limitations? Yes, he had uh, yes he had limitations in a sense that he was allowing human beings to fulfill their responsibility because we cannot just be beings that I would you want to be just like robots and do accord do things without having your own thought about it yun yung parang gagawin mo na lang kung ano yung pinapangkawa sa yung without having your own decision into so since God did not create a, create us in that way, um, He was allowing us to express our response, ano, yung freedom din natin, and then responsibility nga natin. So yeah, it, it's not because God was powerless at all. So, yeah. He is just protecting the the you know, the principle the absoluteness of the principle and he cannot do things 
that would lead him, uh, yun, that would put him in a position and put the principal in a position where it would be questionable. So it, yeah, so, yun yeah. And then the second, the second reason why God did not intervene in the human fall is that for God to be, God alone to be the creator. So if God were to affect the course of unprincipled beings or acts, then they would necessarily be given the value of God's creation and be recognized as principled. Yeah. And then consequently, if God were to have intervened in the fall of the first human ancestors, he would have been attributing to those acts the value of his creations and recognizing them as principled. And then Satan would stand as the creator of all the fruits of the fall. Therefore, in order that God remain the sole creator, he did not intervene in the human fall. So again, brothers and sisters, if he were to, if he, if he were, yeah, if he intervened in the fall, then um, the act of doing, um, the act of committing the illicit sexual relationship would be okay. Yeah, it would be accepted as principle, and then it would not be, um, yung yung act na ginawa nila would be considered okay, in yeah, you know, since God intervened, diba? And then since um, since it would be considered uh, it would be considered as principle, or it would be considered as okay, then um, God would lose his position as a creator because he would be questionable what yung principle na ginawa niya is would be um, would be undermined so it would be um different parang it would be completely changed kasi nga he have recognized something that is that's that should be unprincipled but it had become um principled so yun yung principle would be uh, changed and as well as his um, position as a creator would be um, taken away from him and satan who had um, initiated all these acts would then become the new creator of all beings and since god cannot do that because if god were just to allow that to happen then there would be no hope for human beings if god did if he although god really wanted to help human beings at that time it is un it's undeniable because kahit hindi naman tayo, it it's undeniable that god really wanted to help human beings um basing on the long history that he had worked on to save human beings but then if he did um intervene in that point so wala na your history would the history of restoration would not be possible at all kasi he would not have any means and power to do it anymore because he had been stripped off to his position, his power, and then, yun. So it's, yeah. So yun. I hope, I, I guess the man, brothers and sisters, I hope they get to you. Well, in, in continuation, the third naman the reason is that to make human beings the lords of creation. So what, like what I what I have um, uh, mentioned earlier, so since human beings are created in the likeness of God, and um, we were to inherit His creative nature, we were destined to become the co-creator co-creator of God's of God and to become the Lord of creation. And it, it is even in um, the three great blessings, Sipa. The first one is to multiply. To, um, to, I know, no, don't believe why. To, to be fruitful, to multiply, and to have dominion over, above all, over all creation. So we were meant to become the Lord of creation. So if God were to rule directly and control the lives of human beings who are still in the state of immaturity, this would make them unable to fulfill their own portion of responsibility. And as a result, they would fail to inherit the creative nature of God and thereby fail to gain the qualifications to rule all things. So consequently, it was in order to bless human beings as the lords of creation that God would had God had to restrain himself from intervening in the acts of 
immature human beings. So the reason why God, the real reason why God did not intervene was that he can, it wasn't because he didn't want to intervene at all, but he cannot, he cannot put in vain um, the principle, his position, and as well, human beings. So um, when we ponder about it, brothers and sisters, um, if God, if, you know, if we really wanted that God, God to intervene in the fall, ask yourselves, would you want um, to live uh, an eternity of uh, um, being constantly haunted by the thought that I constantly um, struggling within you, uh, the yeah, you would be put. Uh, would you want to live uh, for an eternity of constantly being at war within yourselves, within yourself? Oh, because when if God had intervened in the fall, we would just be completely powerless. Our everything would have. I mean, there would be no hope for all human beings at all. Like at all wala na so um yeah what do you want to be under satan's dominion and bondage forever and would you want to be um would you want that your freedom and then your um your position would be stripped off from you forever and then you have no means to um claim it back because god has already god has also lost his position would you want that? Would you want to see your parent um, being stripped off of his own position and then somebody claiming you as um, yung parent mo, yung ex example, yung biological parent who have, who were, who was, who were responsible of raising you up and who nurtured you while growing you up, while growing up is ma, Na in a snap of a finger would be stripped up from his position, and then my ibang mag quick claim ng pananya ng pagiging parent niya, and then you would be um with them, uh, with that parent, and then yeah, you will be forever disconnected to your own parent. Would you want that? Iba hindi because whether we no matter how ano gaano pa man an, Bali balik tarin pa man natin yung mundo. Our parents would always be our parents, and then the the strongest the strongest um bond that can, that there is in the entire human history and in the entire universe would always be the bond within our parents, tiba. So if yun, if we really uh, it is undeniable. Yun nga, ulit, uulitin ko. It's undeniable that God really wanted to help human beings. God, the person and then the, the being who um, suffered the, mo the most because of the fall, it was not human beings, actually. It was God who had seen them all and then who had felt it all and who have um, endured for so long. So, and then at that point, in the garden he cannot do anything because he had to protect he has he have to find a way to save human beings because yeah because he know that if he would to if he were to do something um and intervene he could no longer save he wouldn't have he wouldn't have any means to save human beings at all mawawala yung yung remaining power niya and your remaining hope to save human beings will be lost so Basically, yeah. God could not intervene because of these things. So, yeah. I hope you have understood that, brothers and sisters. Yeah. So, it's very short. And uh, I hope I did not make it. Uh, I hope I did not make it confusing to all of you. But then, yeah. Yin lang po. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Sister Bell, for that, you know, very, uh, 
enlightening lecture about uh, uh, freedom and the uh, human fall and also about uh, about why uh, exp uh, and the explanation why God did not intervene uh, in the fall of human beings. Actually, kung tutusin, ano, paano ba? Actually, kung tutusin, uh, hindi naman talaga, hindi nag-intervene si God, kundi hindi naman talaga, yung, it's not, the term is not intervene eh. <laughs> hindi nag-intervene eh. Kundi, may warning siya, di ba? Nagkaroon siya ng warning. So, the warning, uh, the warning itself is God's guidance, guidance already. So, yung warning na do not eat, di ba? Do not eat the, ano. So, yun yung sinasabi ko. <laughs> warning is the, uh, is the guidance. Parang gano'n. But not, uh, but not an intervention. So that hindi mabaliwala lahat yung, yung tree. Yung, so that um, hindi mabaliwala yung absoluteness and perfection of the principle of creation so that God alone will be the creator and that human beings will be the will become the lords of the creation after they become uh, perfect beings or after they have fulfilled the three great blessings or the purpose of creation. So uh, th those are the... the no, uh, that ends our uh, the task of uh, 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 with me uh, the task of my partner and me and we are now ready for the reflection. Tere yes. lang po. May mga questions po sila. Ah, they have yeah, they have a question. Actually, I have received I mean, a couple of questions. The first one is that um somebody asked. Uh, di ko na mention yung name. Um, sabi niya, di ba po, God doesn't create anything that can harm human beings or his creation. What about those fallen spirits or ancestors? Do they go to hell? Does he hell really exist? After, ikaw muna mas sumagot. So, yung question basically is that, um, what about those fallen spirits? Do they go to hell? Or does he really does hell really exist? Go to hell. Go to hell. Uh, okay. <coughs> the fallen spirits. Fallen spirits. <laughs> ano ibig sabihin ng fallen spirit? Yung angels? Yeah. Or yung spirit nung ano spirits nung uh, fallen people or pareho <laughs> pareho po parang pareho ate <laughs> parang pareho ah uh, fallen yung um, ano evil spirits na di ba <laughs> so yun yung <laughs> tama ba hindi ba ako na kumilit <laughs> for become ah uh, they will go to hell uh, and Will go to hell. Uh, ko sinasabi. <laughs> I don't know kung dito nasabi yon, but I always say, when I learned about the principle, I was so happy, <laughs> I was so happy to know uh, after I have learned, uh, I have read the divine principle. Wala pang kasing ano, una talaga na I have read the divine principle by myself. And then, wala pa pang, hindi pa, nag, wala pa akong nakasama ng discussion. I'm not sure. But one thing that I have uh, learned and understand about the divine principle is that uh, hell, there is no physical hell. Parang ganon. Yun yung, yun, uh, that's, uh, that is my discernment. Yun yung, uh, inspiration na naintindihan ko doon na walang physical hell. Yung uh, lake of fire, gano'n. Walang gano'n. So, uh, yung hell natin is that uh, you, yung hell ng relationship natin to towards other people. Uh, the, 
the, yung, yung, yung feeling na hindi ka masaya. Na pag namatay ka, akala mo, ano, akala mo, akala mo, tapos na yung paghihirap mo dito sa mundo na to. Pero hindi mo alam, sabi nga nila, it's a joke, diba? It's a joke na pagdating mo daw sa spirit world, yung kaaway mo dito sa kasama mo doon. Diba? And that's ayo. Uh, and that's your hell, diba? Kaaway mo dito. Kala mo hindi mo na siya makikita, makikita mo pa rin pala siya doon, no? diba? So, that's in yun yung hell na ano, yung ill feeling na narap. Kasi ang spirit world kasi parang sinasabi sa atin, it's the world of the heart. Diba? It's of the world of the heart. So, we must be able to we must be able to uh <clears throat> tawag dito to overcome our ill feelings towards other people towards our relationship uh, yung relationship natin dito sa sa earth para pagdating natin doon na resolve na natin di ba wala nang time problema doon eh kung makikita mo palagi yung yung ano mo yung kaaway mo dun sa spirit world maging masaya ka pa di ba eh kaaway ko yan eh <laughs> para ganun O, di mag-away pa rin kayo. Sabi nga nila, mayroong isang ano doon eh, na uh, kawawa daw si Hitler doon sa spirit world. Kasi, uh, ganun ko na lang sasagot din. Paano ba? Kawawa daw si Hitler kasi every now and then pinapatay daw siya. Hinahabot siya ng mga Jews na pinapatay niya, di ba? That's 2 million Jews, di ba? 2 million Jews. Tama ba yung ano ko, number ko? 2 million Jews yung pinamatay niya. So, pag may nakakita, nakakita na Jews sa kanya, isa sa mga view, papat, hahabuli siya, papatayin din siya. Di ba? Pero, uh, hindi naman talaga siya mamamatay. Pero, he will suffer yung ganung feeling, yung fear na ganun. Tapos, pag may nakita na naman siya, papatayin siya. Parang, so, yun yung ano, yun yung, yun yung magiging, pero hindi siya talaga yung hell na, uh, na, na, na nasusunog ka doon. Pero, iba yung mga kasalanan mo na 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 humahabol sa iyo yun yung ano eh just like when we ano when we when we uh, learn about the divine principle and sabi natin nalaman natin na oy mali pala tong ginagawa ko na to and then we, we felt ano diba we felt even pag natutulog ka ako nararamdaman ko yun eh pag natutulog ako ako may kasalanan ako parang binabangon ako talaga yung babangon ako kasi hindi ako makatulog <laughs> parang minsan hindi ako makahinga so Mga ganon, so because of yung yung relationship natin kasi yung world of the heart talaga daw yun. You uh world of the heart, yung spirit world. Just like kasi di ba, yung sinasabi natin yung yung spirit world, uh, di ba may three three ano, three stages of human life. Yung una dun sa womb which is uh liquid, uh, liquid di ba? So water. Tapos sunod is yung dito word of air. That's the reason why sinasabi, uh, pag nasa ano pa tayo, nine years, uh, uh, nine months sa womb, ang unang na develop is the, the, ano, is yung lungs natin in preparation for us uh, in the, ano, in the, in, sa, ano, para makabrit tayo, we, we are able to live on the earth after we are being born from the womb of our parent, of our mother. So that, kailangan dito rin, because the spirit world is the world of the heart, that's the reason why the first thing that we need to develop while on the earth is yung heart natin. Yung uh, loving people, think that's yung uh, loving people of, of or our relationship. Kasi sa chapter 1 pa lang, sinasabi na natin, i, ano ba ito? We have already learned that in chapter 1, we need to relate. Kahit na ano, uh, every entity in the created world is, ano, diba, is was created uh, with uh, humanity as the model. And that in order to exist and develop, diba, they uh every entity must be able to relate with a person as its subject partner so lahat non kailangan talaga kahit lahat ng even especially human beings so kailangan mo makipag-relate sa tao if we cannot relate hindi mo ayos yung relationship mo 
dito and mag-create ka ng mga ng mga bad uh, emotion towards other people that you really that you need to relate hindi mo kasi may iwasan yun eh di ba yung makipag-relate kasi hindi ka nang mabubuhay without relating with other people so if you have ano a uh, bad relationship and then that will be your hell so yung sinasabi ko wala talaga yung my hell in the sense na uh uh Uh, not bad, uh, not good environment. Pero yung hell na kinakatakutan ko, kasi kinakatakutan ko yung hell noon, special pag nababasa ko yung Revelation, yung Second Peter, yung mga yan, nababasa ko yun before I met the movement, I, I really feel that, parang gano'n. Pero when I read the Divine Principle, it's not, ano, it's not, uh, uh, they are not, ano, hindi natin sila tawag uh, dito, they are, hindi natin sila uh, hindi siya yung hell na na alam alam natin yung physical lake of fire wala talaga siya pero yung ano yung bad relationship talaga yung meron now about the existence ano mangyayari dun sa ano anong mangyayari dun sa dun sa mga bad spirit we really need to ano uh, we really need to ano mangyari sa kanila uh, they will become ang gagawin nila di ba which is mag, mag basa kasi natin dun sa chap, uh, section 6 ng chapter 1 kailangan ng physical body di ba kailangan ng physical body in order to na yung mga problema kailangan nila makipag cooperate nang sa ganun uh, maggrow yung spirit di ba para kung nandito ko sa baba ng spirit world para tumaas ka kailangan makipag-cooperate ka dun sa living 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 ano living individual yung mayroong pang physical body para tumaas siya so eh kung hindi naman naging successful yung pinag-cooperate niya so nandoon pa rin siya yun yun ang uh, maaaral natin yan later on sa uh, sa isang ano returning resurrection ano ba yun uh, predestination no yung about sa returning resurrection sa predestination in uh, our successive discussion pero yun yun uh, to give you ano may pag-asa sila besides meron tayong solution yung ancestral liberation di ba that's the reason why may tangya sa so, yung mga kumakabit sa atin mga bad spirit kailan Tanyang. Pero may ang maganda kasi sa Chanyang natin, sa ating uh, sense of liberation, pati mga bad spirit na, 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 na nasa katawan natin, na nasasagap natin, is that uh, may sasalo sa kanila and then uh, papupuntayin sila sa divine physical lecture in the, the spirit world and magiging absolutely good spirit sila. And then magiging ano natin yan, magiging spiritual children natin yan. Na sila yung magkikipag-cooperate sa atin at Google, gagawin nila, tutulungan na natin nila tayong makagawa ng good. O, diba? So yun yun. Yun yung isa natin, ano, although sa ibang ano yun, ibang, yun yung purpose ng ancestral liberation kasama ng mga spirit na nasa atin. So may pag-asa na truly kung titignan mo, Truly, our true parents are really the Messiah. Kasi it, even hindi lang naman yung physical world yung yung ano eh sinosob na problem ng true parents. Even the spirit world, even yung mga nauna na. So hindi pinapabaya ng true parents na talagang in uh, true parents is really the Messiah because uh, in uh, through the ancestral liberation sa so yung spirit world. Uh, it is the hell is being eradicated. So, yun yung ano, yun yung <laughs> haba na to. So, ano, so, that's yun yung sinasabi ko na may pag-asa, may solution tayo, uh, res- returning resurrection na siya. Na partly na, na, na-discuss na natin sa chapter 1, section 6. And then, yung ano, kompleto nun is yung predestination sa returning resurrection. Ano yung next question po? <laughs> Ayan. Thank you po, Ate, Ate Relina. So, I hope nasagot naman yung question niya, Ate. Um, the hell, 
would not come. There is no existing hell. There is no hell that God have ever created. Yung hell na magiging napupuntahan ng hinang tao when they die is the hell that they themselves have created. Because yun nga, kakasabi ni Ate Rina, diba, when we go to the spirit world, we live and we breathe um, we breathe love around there. And then, um, the, all the things that we have committed here in the physical world would be, um, would come like a flashback to us. And then since we have already, um, when we, ha- when we will become uh, spirits na, um, yung, the principle will be unfolded to us. I, for me, I think yung representation, yung understanding ko kasi, the reason why it is being represented that hell is um uh, a fiery pit of um, a place of um with fire around, all over around and it's hot and then yung ganun yung representation ng hell is that because when we go to the spirit world we will be um but whether we like it or not we will be we will discover the truth about um the reality about all, everything starting from the very beginning and then up until the present and then when we become um, aware of it, we will be haunted by our own guilt, and that guilt that will be with us will be the one will will try to suffocate us. That instead of living together with the rest of the good spirits um, in the kingdom of heaven, we will be um, forced down to go go far from it and live together with the rest of the evil evil spirits or yun, yung mga fallen spirits, who weren't able to fulfill or do and practice um, living a life of filled with love and everything. So yeah, basically yun. Walang, wala naman talagang ginawa si God na, na masama. He, he never intended to create anything bad. It was only a product of um, the fall, and it was only the product of... Uh, um yun. Yun nga, the fall. it was all because of what happened in the garden and then naging huge na yung result niya so that's why it wasn't um it has become unstoppable Ganun. so nasagot sana po nasagot yung question na ano mangyayari dun sa mga spirit evil fall in prison they have Sila naman yung nag ng grief and pain for themselves. It wasn't God who have caused them to suffer. It wasn't anyone who have um, put them in that position but themselves. So, yun. So, they would be living and they would be, yeah. Yun, they would be um, forced to, li- to live in their own hell, which they themselves have created. So, yun. Yung question naman po na second. So yun, let's proceed to the next question. Yung next na question is that, um, is even Adam liberated na po ba? Malalaborate po ba si Satan? Napaka, ano, napakaganda yung question actually. Di ba? It's very nice. Thank you for that wonderful question. Isa ka na. Yun. So, ate, ikaw po mo na mauna. Is even Adam liberated na po ba? Liberated ba si Adam? Si Adam, maliliberate siya after siguro, I mean, wala akong balita kay Adam kung <laughs> maliliberate kay Satan. Parang may balita ako na naliberate siya. Parang it's March, some, March something, 1990. 1999 o 1998. Parang gano'n. Hindi ako sigurado sa date, pero may gano'n. Uh, na nag-surrender na siya. Pero alam niyo, kahit na na-liberate si Satan, si Lucifer per se, na nag-surrender na siya, marami naman na kasi siya, marami kasi siyang ano eh, uh, followers na hindi pa naman na-liberate. So, so gano'n pa rin yung ano, gano'n pa rin yung, ang dami niyang, expanded na yung ano niya eh. expanded na siya si si Adam kasi sinasabi ni mother yung after yung 430 di ba 
pag natapos natin yung 430, yung 210 nga lang eh, di ba? Pag nagawa mo yung 210, 211 to 430, automatic na yon na mag-deliberate, di ba? So, yung, ah, kailan ko ba na ano yun? Parang two Sundays ago, one Sunday, o um, Sunday, sa kay mother na, na yung, yung up hanggang sa 431, hanggang kay Adam, ah, uh, madeliberate siya. Parang ganon. Hindi ko lang alam, hindi ko matandaan yung, hindi ko, uh, I need to, balikan ko siya kasi masyadong mabili. Ay, hindi ko talaga, babalikan ko siya. Kasi, pero may sinasabi na ganon, na, na, i-deliberate up to, to Adam. Parang ganon. Para, may eradicate talaga yung hell sa spiritual. Eh, sabi nga, di ba, pag, Uh, pag father goes to the spirit world uh, 10 times or many more times or more than that siya na mag-work sa spirit world so in yun kaya magiging kaya nga maraming bababa dito ng mga ano eh and, uh, and I think the the, 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 the tea, yung mga na-liberate natin <laughs> yun yung bumababa dito na to help us that's the reason why na Uh, as elder, feel mo talaga na yung, yung, yung providence ngayon is it's better than before. Yung hindi na siya mas, 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 mas mahirap siya dati. Pero di ba? Kasi nga, kaya nga may merit of the age kasi because of the uh, foundation laid by the uh, mga nauna sa atin and even yung mga leaders na nauna sa atin. Especially si father. Kasi yung foundation na linay niya and through parents and all our leaders. Yeah, so we must be thankful with that and we must we must be you know, uh, uh, we are standing all of us are standing on those foundations. So so but then sinasabi pa rin talaga na we each and every one of us has our has our own portion of responsibility. So hindi po pwedeng na even though we are standing on the uh, foundation of our two parents and of all the, the the central figures in history of the saints and sages in history we need to do our portion of responsibility that does not you know, that does not uh, exempt us from doing our portion of responsibility So ano ba yung question? <laughs> Nakalimutan ko na. Yo, ano yung question? Was Adam and Eve already liberated or and if yung Adam and Eve. Ang sinasabi pa lang naman so lumalabas uh ililiberate siya up to Adam and Eve. So more or less hindi pa nga na-deliberate siya. Hindi pa nangakarating kay Adam. And Eve. Pero kay Satan Uh, I think the, the Lucifer, yung si Lucifer, para may ganun akong, uh, may, merong date actually, pero hindi ko masyadong, hindi ko masyadong alam yung date. Baka alam ni Sir Randy yung actual na date na naman si Sir Randy. <laughs> hindi ko masyadong alam yung date. Pero it's a, it's a March thing. Ay, March, March 20 something. And, talaga ako good sa ano eh. Kasi ako good sa sa date talaga. So, yun. Every, ano, ang ano natin, ang, ang good news is that every part is deliberated but then it depends on how it is physical. Wala lang ba yung kumpensa lang po? Di ba? Kala lang ako dyan. Di ko manood ako yung lagi, di ba? Pag paano natin mapabilisyon is yung paggawa natin ng ano responsibility natin. And uh, even ano ako rin hindi ko, um, most of the time I fall short of the uh, expectation ni God and yung paggawa ng Uh, pero if sabi nga ni mother sabi nga ni mother if we 
kung makiki sa ano tayo, if we cling to mother and believe to mother absolutely and walk together with her, nothing is impossible. Mabibit natin yung 2022 Unification of North and South Korea and the substantial uh, <coughs> restoration of the one-third of the Earth population, which is... Uh, one third of 7.8 billion people. And that is uh, almost two, two point something, right? 2.4 billion people of this time. Or more. Depende kasi sa ating yun eh. Kasi mother cannot do it alone. And even our leaders cannot do it alone. We need to, we need to really harmonize and unite, uh, and unite with true mothers a declaration and resolution. Yun yun talaga yung kailangan natin. Kasi di ba, kasab may kasabihan naman talaga even sa Bible eh, if nothing is impossible uh, with God. Diba? And the substantial manifestation of God and the substantial uh, here on earth is our true mother. And uh, yun yung kaya nga palagi niya. And sinasabi nga ni mother, Uh, heaven cannot, uh, uh, cannot wait now. So, kailangan talaga gawin na natin yung responsibility natin. Kasi gusto na talaga ni mother na matapos na. Yung ibig sabihin, ma substantially. Kasi labanan talaga siya ng numbers. Ang palaging ano natin, it's, it's all, uh, every time, it's a battle of number. Kung mabit natin yung maging 51% lang yung good, panalo na yung ano, di ba? <laughs> panalo na yung good eh panalo na si God pag nag 51% ka di ba so yun yun it's always a, ano, a, a fight a game of numbers between God and Satan so dapat duma, mas dumami talaga yung nasa God's side nang sa ganoon and that it is it's, it is dependent dun sa portion of responsibility natin how well we can unite and harmonize with true mother's resolution and declaration. Hello. <laughs> Andrew, thank you so much for that. Nasagot naman po ba? So, liberation is possible and then walang exemption sa liberation. Lahat tayo magal. Lahat ng fallen. Lahat ng spirits. Magal-liberate. So, that is the ultimate goal na ating true parents naman. So even Adam and Eve, even Satan, and the rest of the evil spirits. So yeah, the last question po is um, this one. Why did <laughs> my anime? My questions, pa tayo at <laughs> Why did Adam and Eve fell? And what can we do as their offspring to help them restore their failed mission that God gave them? Again, why did Adam and Eve fell? And what can we do as their offspring, offspring, to help them restore their failed mission that God gave them? I think mas maganda ng question natin to sa ano, mga participants. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Sa tingin nila bakit? Tingin niyo, why did Adam and Eve fail? Yung pwedeng sumagot ano yung naaral nila sa Naanit si Ate Christina. <laughs> Pinaaral ba sila? Pinaaral ba sila? Ay, yeah. I'm with na po si Ate Christian. Welcome, 4, 6, 7, 8. Welcome. Ay, iba. Gusto <laughs> uh, niyo po pa yung question? Paki ulit po. Oh. Sige. Na, na ito yung question. Um, why did Adam and Eve fail? And what can we do as their offspring to help them restore their failed mission that God gave them? Uh, so that's for, the chat. Uh, so first questions muna po. Um, good evening po, leaders, um, lecturers, brothers and sisters. Um, for me po is um, why Adam and Eve fell? It is because they didn't know what truly wants God for them before they are uh, doing the matured um Um, steps to be uh, as one po and for me po is not just be because of Adam and, Eve, Adam and Eve but because of the jealousy of uh, Satan that he wants to 
that I he felt that um, um, God didn't love him the way he he loves him before. So that um, Satan was ano po ano gusto niya po na lahat ng attention niya ay bumalik ay lahat ng attention ni God ay bumalik sa kanya. That is why he attempt if if first so um to ano para makuha niya yung ano ni ni di ma-fulfill ni if yung dapat i ma-fulfill niya kasi yon yung God's will at saka po then dahil po di nag-report si ano po si if so that he tempted again Adam so Adam was in the first in the first is Adam didn't want but uh, Eve was ano na eat this because they eaten yeah. so for me po is that um, because of not um, obeying God's commandment and because of being jeal jealousy and being uh, never felt God's heart that's why po Adam and Eve fell And the next question, po, paki ulit po. Ayan. What can we do uh, as their offspring to help them restore their failed mission that God gave them? Um, for me, po, uh, it's a hard question. <laughs> but uh, answer ko po to. Um, para po sa akin is um, being restored po is that they could um communicate or um attach or something dapat po may descendants po sila na magliliberate sa kanila to restore of what they feel mission they do or they didn't do so that po uh, we human beings has the opportunity and responsibilities po to restore our, our first ancestors who failed and we have this uh, <laughs> um, ano po uh, for me po uh, it is it is ano po um, it is our portion of responsibilities po talaga na mag ano na i-liberate po sila kasi um, they they have this ano po na true mother true mother said po na no one left behind so ano po, para sa akin po, it's our uh, portion of responsibilities po talaga to restore the first ancestors so that they offspring po, that uh, the field mission that they do will be um, restored po to do our portion of responsibilities po. Yun lamang po, salamat. Okay, thank you so much, Ate Kristinette, for answering um, the rest of the brothers and sisters, anything, anyone, who want to answer the question? Hello. You're free to unmute yourselves and say something, brothers and sisters. Wag po kayo matakot. Di po tayo nanganga. Di po kayo kakain. Di namin dito. Brothers and sisters, may gusto po ba? Um, at the Juna, May or at that anime at Kuya Vince. Kuya Patrick, anything to say about the question? Mm -mm. It's actually a very good question to reflect on. So, um, and Ate, uh, Ma'am Josephine, rin po. anything to add? Oh, bakit nga ba nagkasada si Adam? Why, bakit nag-fall si Adam and Eve? At ano yung pwede natin gawin as their descendants, as their offspring, para matulungan natin sila? Ano po ba yung... Uh -oh. Meron pa po bang gustong mag-share before sagutin ng elders? Hi! Nandun po po ba kayo? Hello. Okay. Wala po ba talaga gusto mag-share? Wala na po ba mag gusto mag-share? Kuya Vince, 
may gusto ka po bang sabihin about ano oh, oh. at least let's hear at least one more one more thing uh, yeah, oh. but from one more person about the question kasi nagbigay na na si Ate Kristen it another or si Kuya Patrick any of the two but the topic so 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 kasi na po don't be afraid Sige, so, isa salit na lang ako. So, for me, um, so, from what I have learned from the principal, um, Adam and Eve have fall because they did not um, follow God's commandments. So, um, do not touch early or eat the fruit. And um, also, due to the um intervention of satan um why satan um uh, why what is the motivation of satan to become satan is um because he um uh, he has the mean um it's the term of um he um he lacked the love that he received from god so in order to um Collect, collect the um um to gain the love that um he think that he lost um he seduced so um so in the previous section that um that have been discussed from the lecture um God give us a um God um let us um compare so that um, we could grow and we must um, we must really um, be optimistic um, before um, doing um, before um, expressing our feelings so um, we must really think that um, we must uh, before so this is my answer or oh, um, I know to liberate um as an offspring um we need to because we we are now aware of um what did happen to um Eden in um because of the the um the intervention of satan so we must be optimistic enough to compare not um hindi tayo maunahan ng feeling before mag compare yet. um we must really um uh, embrace that person na hinate natin so that we could really um so that we could not really think na um we lack the love that we have um so that we will not uh, feel the lackness instead we will feel na um mas um napun anong tawag anong tagalog na napuntan <laughs> mas lalo pang um nadagdagan yung love na na receive and so that um we must follow the principle and uh, ano by following the principle we can um anong tawag dun um eradicate and will be cleansed from the sins that we have um committed therefore um since that we, we have committed that is um original sin hereditary collective and individual sin and also uh, <laughs> sorry for, um so as what um nakalimutan ko one of the lecturers said um, um must really uh ah, nako nakalimutan ko pero yun lang siguro yung masasabi ko let us um 
to in order to um liberate um Aiden, Adam and Eve, we have the responsibility. We have the responsibility. Also, of sa free will pala. Dapat natin um <clears throat> we need to really um differentiate um so that I differentiate and be optimistic on what we do so that um we could really um perform and deliver um a good and proper um discretion about what we are doing so that we could um stick to the goodness um we will not deviate from the principle um we must find out the obscure meaning the obscure goodness um behind the um in any bad situations that will happen so Be, be optimistic as a person so that we will not create. So that we could practice love because, um, ah, ito na, naalala ko na. So, as what Ate Rihina, Rihina said, um, um, we could um, save the fallen spirit from the spirit world if we, um, by the help of us, by the help of us, um, persons that have the physical body to perform goodness so that they could um also um receive the merit that we have um that we have received from god so that they could go up to um another level <laughs> level level but um we must do good so that um so that we could really um I uh, know um, we could um, really gain the uh, vitality elements to grow our sp spirit and also to um, help our ancestors to um, to really ano, um, para ma ano sila sa ano yun merit na na receive natin so Yan lang siguro yung sa. So, thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much, Papa Yavins, for that wonderful sharing. And yeah, yung points ni Kuya. Be optimistic. It's indeed. Uh, let's go to Ate. Um, Ate Rina, would you want to answer the question, Kuba? Or do you want to proceed to the next question? Hello po. Ata, nakalit po kayo. Uh, ano yun? Ano yung... Um, yung question po? Uh, yung question is, why did Adam and Eve fell? And what can we do as their offspring to help them restore their fallen mission that God gave them? Why did Adam and Eve fell? Uh, mm -hmm. Bakit nga ba? <laughs> Ang hirap naman ng question. Ah... <laughs> uh, Adam and Eve fell because they, ano, they did not absolutely believe in God's commandment or God's word, diba? And they allowed themselves to be uh, deceived by Satan. Doon sa sinasabi niya na pag, uh, hindi totoo na uh, it's not true. Diba sa tanong ni Lucifer si, si, uh, si Eve, sabi niya ganun. Uh, did God say that, ano, that uh, that we cannot eat the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Yes, we can eat of the fruit, but not the uh, the tree in the midst of the garden. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil. No, hindi yan, hindi yan totoo. Actually, kung kinain mo yun, magiging mas matalino mo pa kay God. So, ibig sabihin, uh, hindi absolute yung uh, paniniwala Ni, 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 ni Adam and Eve dun sa word ni, ni Heavenly Father ni, ni God, yung creator nila na, na mamamatay talaga sila in fact, hindi naman talaga na sila namatay, pero 
they were they died spiritually they they have separated from God's uh, uh tawag dito bosom di ba and then yun yung yun yung nangyari pero yun yung reason kung bakit sila uh, yung hindi absolute yung yung paniniwala nila dun sa word of God mas naniwala sila dun sa salita ni ano and and thus nagkaroon kasi ng ano eh nagkaroon kasi ng uh, Ayan, hindi, uh, hindi, kasi dahil bata pa sila, di ba? And they believe, ano, uh, sa tingin ko din, uh, since uh, nire-recognize din nila si Lucifer as their, ano, uh, as their teacher and tutor, di ba? And then alam nila na matagal lang kasama ni God si Lucifer, uh, ang alam nila, in nila na, ano, na tama yung sinasabi ni Lucifer dahil matagal na ang kasama si God. Pero ang mali nila doon, ang mali nila dapat kasi nagtanong sila, di ba? Nagsabi sila kay God, God, bakit sinasabi ni Lucifer? Di ba mahirap pang magtanong, di ba? Sabi ni Lucifer, ano, pwede daw kumain ng prutas, hindi daw kami mamamatay. Hindi pong mahirap. Kasi nakakausap naman nila si God directly at that time, di ba? Hindi nga lang sila ginagay ni God, ah, hindi lang sila inaalagaan ni God directly pero nandahil na dyan si Lucifer but they can, anytime they can ask God, di ba? Pero yun yung problema. Hindi sila nag-ask. Kung baga ah, sa Bisaya ito nag-una-una <laughs> Bisaya yung sinasabi nyo. Yan, ano, ah, Uh, hindi sila nagtanong but it is very easy that is ano it's within their reach right di ba yun yung problema so as ano as sa ating life of faith and in your daily life it's not bad to ask our elders our parents our leaders if there is something that i know that that uh, that confuse us that that is not clear to us. So, yun yung, pro- yun yung naging problema ni Adam and Eve. They did not ask the right person to guide them. Instead, they, 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 ano, they, um, they trusted their instinct, pero yun nga yun eh. Dahil bata pa sila, they are not yet perfect, so they are susceptible to to make mistake. Yun yun. So, as we grow, dapat palagi nating isipin yun. Hindi porke alam natin na, ay, matalino ako, parang ganyan, hindi ko na kailangan siya sabihin niya, tama yung gagawin ko. Hindi pwede yun. We need, because we know, among the, among the three archangels, Lucifer is the most intelligent. But, and yet, hindi niya na, ano, hindi niya, tawag dito, hindi niya naisip din lumapit kay God, di ba? Yun din yun eh. Kasi kung nagtataka ka kung bakit, bakit pa si Adam and Eve maging Lord of the Creation, pati hindi ako, parang gano'n. Di ba? Pag ganun sabi niya. Kasi for sure, there, there is this question in, in Lucifer's mind, bakit sila? So, eh ako, bakit ako? Bakit hindi ako? Ganun yun eh, di ba? So, But he did not ask God, pero tagal, mas matagal nga niyang kasama si God kaysa kay Adam and Eve. Eh. So, hindi siya lumapit kay God for clarification. So, yun yun. Para pareho ng ano nila. Kasi feeling niya, matalino siya na siya masyado na hindi niya kailangan yung guidance ni God. So, yun yun. So, we cannot do that. If we cannot separate from our Creator. We cannot separate from our parent. Kasi yun yun naman pinanggalingan natin. Whatever we have is from our parent. Which is God na naaral natin yun sa chapter 1. Kaya nga sabi palagi sa sa guidance ni Reverend yung from the beginning. Every problem started with not understanding with na, ng chapter 1. Pag hindi mo naintindihan yung chapter 1, magkakaroon ka talaga lahat ng problem mag start doon pag hindi mo siya naintindihan. So it's very very ano it's very uh, crucial for us to really understand chapter 1. Okay. Thank you thank you so much po Ate. Um hello. Ah uh, may additional yeah. po si Kuya Julius. 
Okay po. Uh, I will add something doon sa sinabi ni ano, ni uh, Sis Rilina. So aside doon sa yung absolute uh, belief kay God, we have to understand that love is stronger than the principle. It is because God governs us through love. So why God gave the commandment? It is because he foresaw that when Adam and Eve form a common base with the archangel, they might, there might be a possibility that they might succumb to this uh, illicit love. So the first defense or solution here is don't give and take. Because once you give and take, you will be trapped and you cannot go out. So that's, that's the very, you know. And second, you have to report. If something, something, uh, there is ongoing give and take, we have to report for support to God like that. So we have to understand that if, I mean, you have principle, but the power of love is stronger than the principle that we have to, uh, we have to understand this. And the only way to, to stop that is we don't give and take. We stop, uh, if someone is flirting you or for showing you, yeah, don't give and take. And if ever there is um, something, uh, something happening, so give, give and take, then report. So most important that we know that the commandment is about don't commit sexual sin. So if we help in restoring that and fulfilling our responsibilities, that means we don't repeat the same mistake. So we don't commit sexual sin. I think that's all. Thank you. Thank you for, for that add-on, Kuya. That reminder once again. So, yun. Um, <clears throat> uh, we have another question. Last question na lang to. Um, okay, pa, okay po ba lahat? Ng, ano? Actually, this is a very ano, napakaganda ng last question na to. Promise. Okay pa po ba tayong lahat? Yeah. Mag-propose na that last question na lang po talaga. So, yan. Um, good evening po. Uh, I have a question po. What happened to those victims of rape, though not intentional ang case nila, part din po ba ang victims sa nakakomit ng illicit sexual relationship? Ano po ang mangyayari sa kanila pagpunta nila sa spirit world? Okay. I, re I will repeat the question and I will also send it to the to the group <laughs> chat para mabasa ng lahat. So, yun. Um, what happens to those victims of rape, though not intentional, ang case nila? Part din po ba ang victims sa nakakomit ng illicit sexual relationship? Ano po ang mangyayari sa kanila pagpunta nila sa spirit world? Answer ko ba? <laughs> sad to say, yes. Uh, part siya ng ano. Uh, sad to say, pero uh, it's also a form of or categorically categorically it is an illicit sexual relationship kasi pag sinabi natin kasi illicit unpermitted di ba unpermitted so hindi naman permitted yon so it is ano uh, it is also a form of illicit sexual relationship so pag namatay sila pag nagkataon pinatay sila parang ganoon ah uh, <laughs> They need to be liberated also. I mean, uh, they need to be liberated, and then it is it should be ano initiated by those uh relative niya or parents of the of that ano. Meron kasi isang example ko dito na uh, uh isang second gen 
uh, who is ano nag ano siya nag uh, fundraising and then she was raped dun sa nag uh, she was raped that uh, second girl was raped and then she uh, she was uh, eventually killed by her rapist and then ang ginawa nung parents nung ano they forgive him and uh, the rapist was forgiven by the parents and then <clears throat> hindi lang siya forgive pero tinake care nila yung rapist uh, uh, to reform the rapist din yung ganun uh, napaka ano nung <laughs> nung kwento pero that's ano I actually si father yata uh, recognize niya yung parents na yun eh. So so, so mga ganun kasi it's, it's an evil deed, okay? Pero kung tutusin pag tinitingnan natin yung when we examine it carefully, the 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 ano ba yun? The fall of uh Eve kay kay Satan, di ba? Yung spiritual fall is actually statutory rape, di ba? It's actually rape. Ibig sabihin, merong ano dyan sa morning devotion ni, ni ano eh, ni, 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 ni Reverend yung na rape talaga siya. Kasi sabi mo, statutory rape, kasi mga bata pa yan eh. Bata pa si Eve noon, nung, nung nangyari yun. If she's 16 or 17 years old, she's, uh, no, she is uh, young. And then, it is considered, dun sa law natin, it's called for statutory it's called statutory rape dahil hindi pa niya alam yung ginagawa niya so yun yun so ang ano kasi doon una kung namatay siya namatay yung ano kailangan talaga may mag forgive diba? and it should be ano and she should be liberated kasi everybody kasi meron kang ano eh Siyempre namatay ka, pinatay ka, di ba? Yun yung, yun yung ano mo eh. Yun yung, yun yung last na nare-remember mo when you go to the spirit world. Eh di siyempre, galit na galit ka. How, how can you last in the spirit world, di ba? Ganun lagi yung mag-iisip mo, di ba? Kasi sabi natin, uh, the only way for you to, for that person to, ano, is, uh, that person should be, uh, should forgive and then, uh, and then ang mag, mag, magagawa lang niya yun through yung mga mga tao na buhay para i-liberate siya. Yun yun, yun yung, yun yung ano. Pero kung nabuhay siya, let's say nabuhay siya, kailangan pa rin niyang mag-forgive, di ba? And to overcome it. Although hindi siya madali kasi may mga ano nga, di ba? May mga they, uh, rape victims undergo ano undergo uh, psychological ano di ba uh, sessions para to 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 overcome the trauma or else may mga ano pa that uh, yung iba uh, nagiging ano sila nagiging uh, kung if they don't undergo the, that ang nangyayari di ba uh, <laughs> nagiging loose yung personality nila and they become promiscuous, di ba? Yun, yun yung ganon. So, they really need help. And then, uh, these people they really need help. And then, talagang kailangan nila mag And una, they need to forgive. And then, after that, and most of all, they also need to forgive themselves. Kasi minsan may mga ganon na, na nadudun pa sa ano mo, siguro, yun yung, sa mga nababasa ko, I mean, Sinisisi nila yung sarili nila kung bakit nangyari yun. Kasi bakit sila pumunta sa, sa lugar na yun, yung mga ganun. So, nandun doon. So, nandun doon yung, uh, the, key, the key word is to forgive. The perpetrator and the, the, yung self mo, uh, if you ano, were able to, uh, if that person were able to to uh, come alive with, with, the, with, the, with that uh, very... Uh, sad uh, experience or yung traumatic na experience na yun. Yun lang po. <laughs> Ewan ko ano sasabihin ni Kuya. Kuya tungkol doon. Kuya Julius. 
any add-ons po ba, Kuya Julius? From or anything? For me, for solution po is to fulfill the provision to the local topic to be managed Ikaw, Miss Christine. Ako? <laughs> um, ako yung sasagot. Natatakot ako magsasamagot eh. Kasi I, I believe I still have so many things to learn. Pa talaga. However, gaya ng sabi ni Ate Relina, I also think, um, although hindi pa siya validated, kung tama yung nasa isip ko. But then, I think um, yung mga cases ng um, rape, yung victims ng rape, yung yeah, cases of um, rape na is makakonsider din siya under the category of um, committing, committing um, illicit sexual relationship. Although, kahit sabihin man na hindi siya intentional, it still falls down to that category. Kasi, however, I believe naman na there would be a different, um, maybe yung level or yung intensity would be different from um, committing the act intentionally. <laughs> Baka it's different. Or hindi pa, hindi po talaga ako sure. Um, but yeah, it will still both. I know it will still be considered, and then, yun eh, yun yun talaga yung nasa isip ko, and uh, yeah, yung keyword nga forgive sabi ni Ate, and then when we go, when they go to the spirit world, um, the best way we can do for both the perpetrator and the victor, a uh, victim would be to really. Um, liberate them, most especially the ano, yung, yung mga spirits nila. Because um, for the case of the victim, naman, they weren't able to fulfill yung responsibility nila. And then, yeah, we have, um, um, they, they, those are spirits that really are in need of help na maliberate natin. And uh, I think, uh, Kailangan, that is something that we have to address and that should that will be addressed when um the principle would be taught to all the um everyone because uh, yeah we yun nga, um those acts naman is um committed because of the lack of <laughs> understanding sa principle about and then being uh, living in the dark without knowing um what is um exactly is the truth so, yun yung mga result ng hindi, uh, hindi pagkaka-alam ng, ng katotohanan. So, I think um, we really have great responsibility to help um, individuals like them. And then, even ourselves. Lahat, lahat, lahat tayo. And then, that is also the ultimate goal naman talaga ni God, ni Heavenly Parent and True Parents. And um, that we also have to take part into. So yun. Uh, pero, so yun, mag-ask <laughs> I don't know if I can give you concrete answers for listen sisters. Um, let's ask yung elders natin because they would, they can, you know, um, they can answer this question more precisely and accurately. Um, may naalala ako na ano, may naalala ako ng isang guidance about yung rape na ano. Ang sinasabi ay rape, parang natatandaan ko lang, in the olden days daw, especially Koreans, they, they really, ano, they really, uh, they really human, whether young or old, parang meron silang dala-dala na ano, maliit na kutsilyo, na ano, uh, yun yung sinasabi, guidance to na, na ano ko, Eh, ano yata, basta sa mga continental leaders, <laughs> habig ganun. 
the, yes to protect them kasi masyado ano but just to protect their purity uh, their purity ang kung nadudun ka sa ano na yon parang sinasabi nga nila it's better to die than ano to be to be ano to, to be to be blemish like that ganun ka ano ganun ka ka halaga yung yung value ng purity natin yun yung ano they they meron silang dala-dalang ano maliit daw na kutsilyo just just to protect themselves pag nag yung nandoon na sila talaga yung kumbaga ah uh, push to the wall ka na wala ka ng choice wala ka ng ibig sabihin yung wala ka ng ano wala yung hindi ka na makakatakbo parang nandoon ka na dead end ka na parang ganoon it's better parang sinasabi nila it's better the reason why they have that that, that small knife is that it's better to 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 kill yourself than to be to be parang ganun yung ano nila that, pero ang sinasabi ang sinasabi nila dito yung yung guidance na ito is how valuable your purity is it's not babae or lalaki lang ay o hindi lang babae even sa lalaki sa brothers so ang sinasabi dito sa guidance na to it is to 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 value your purity yun yun yung gusto ko lang sa bakay god yung yung purity natin that's the reason why you need to value your purity as much as possible naalala ko lang siya <laughs> yung ganung ano yung ganung guidance it's not ano uh, it's better para gan it's better to kill yourself than than ano than being uh, blemished yung purity mo parang ganun yung sasabi pero paano nga naman yung bata na sinasabi ko na second gen wala naman siya lagi siyang daladala di ba parang ganun so wala talaga <laughs> yun Yun yung sinasabi ko. Siguro yun yung bingit ng kamatayan na yun. Dun, 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 ano. Some help, some help might come. Yung kung ganun yung mo, yung ganun, ganun yung gagawin mo. Kasi alam mo na how valuable it is. So, sabi, katulad yung sinasabi ni Kuya, as much as possible, we need to, ano, uh, do not engage or yun yun. Hindi talaga mag-engage sa ano, nang sa ganun uh, try na ano. Uh, yun nga, wag kang masyad, wag kang pa corner as much as possible in order to any form of uh, chapter 2 problem. Wag kang pa corner <laughs> Never na ano. Yun, yun yun lang naman yung ano dito. Uh, never engage dun sa sa ano na yun na na mako-corner ka talaga, na talo ka. I mean, yun yung talo ka, yun, hindi ka talaga, ano, tama yung sinasabi ni Kuwi. <laughs> Wag kang pako-corner. Kasi alam na natin yung process, di ba? We know already the process of the fall. We know na kung paano nangyari, paano, alam natin kung paano na-deceive si Eve ni, 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 si, ni Lucifer. At alam din natin kung paano dineceive ni, ni, ni Eve si si Adam in the same manner so we should be ano careful tayo yung signs nung 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 process ng fall alam na natin eh. so we need to to avoid situations like that in yun yun lang yung kailangan natin kasi matandaan dito sa chapter ko na to uh, we need to be, be very ano uh, Conscious talaga tayo dun sa process and motivation of the whole. Yun yun. Yung process and motivation of the whole, the reason why we are, uh, sinasabi yan, I'm sorry, 18 minutes na tayo over time. Pero yun yung kailangan natin maintindihan. Especially as ano, a blessing candidates at mga bata pa tayo. And knowing the principle, you become very bright, napakagwapo nyo, gaganda nyo sa iba, sa, sa ano, gaganda nyo sa, sa pan, paningin ng iba. So, you will attract many people, uh, many people, and you will uh, attract, and you are susceptible to it. But then, 
do not engage. Yung yung sabi ni Kuya. Kuya, ni Sir Julius niyo. Huwag <laughs> kayong pako-corner. Para sa akin, hindi kayong pako-corner. Yun yun po. So, meron pa bang ano? Late na. <laughs> Late na, sorry. Are you still okay? Oh, um, to further um discuss this, brothers and sisters, I think we can anunaman, raise this question to our, uh, to our elders next meeting. But for now, I think um it's um feeling ko uh ano feeling ko tama na muna ngayon. So we will be discussing about that more deeply next, hopefully. With um our elders, um with Mr. Randy, Claire Herbin, Sir, Sir Claire Julius, and the rest of the other elders, they could give um more guidance about it. So for now, um so we end na muna natin to because we have exceeded um sa time natin. Pero bago natin we end, um I would like to remind everyone to send your reflex reflections on time. Kasi oh, on time po. Di ba may binigay naman na ano, time limit. So please send your reflections on time because this is also our attendance, brothers and sisters. So nandun din, naroon din yung sincerity and heart natin. So yun. Yun lang po. And so let's have our closing prayer. Um, may I request that they really not to end at you offer our yeah, closing prayer. Please join me in prayer. Good, good evening, our family parents and to parents of heaven and earth uh, and humankind. Father, we have just uh, concluded, completed our uh, session, our meeting for today, this uh, very um, fruitful meeting and discussion about the fall on how we can avoid the situations of the whole so that, so that if we are to or the participants are to uh, uh, experience same situation we can avoid it and be able to deal with it heaven father and let this uh, uh, these learnings be their uh, protection and guidance as they um, as they go through their journey of the matching and the blessing of the parents. And the parents, uh, thank you once again, and we love you truly, Heavenly, uh, truly, Heavenly Father, and true parents, you are always guiding us, and you always loving us more than we love you. And we would like to say we love you, true parents, and Heavenly Parents, and I we report this, and uh, ask this in the names of Ray and Relina Tolenda Central West Family, Adju. Adju, thank you so much, brothers and sisters. <laughs> if you have any other questions, you can send it also to your, um, attach it to your reflection paper. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters, for staying with us despite being.